Ladies and gentlemen, some big news out of New Star Games has dropped today. I woke up this morning, no breakfast, straight to Twitter. And the first tweet that I see is this tweet right here. Retro Bowl official Twitter account, which I will leave in the description down below, has tweeted out next month, Retro Bowl turns pro. NFL Retro Bowl 25 is coming exclusively to Apple Arcade. I don't even know what that means. Is it called NFL Retro Bowl 25? Is that the name of it? That, that's a kind of a tongue twister, bro. I don't really know what's happening there, but it's coming exclusively to Apple Arcade. No, 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 no. Android users are in shambles with superstars on every team and hundreds of real NFL and NFL PA players to choose from. So if you take a look, oh my God, you see George Kittle. That, that looks like George. That looks like my boy Jorge. We got eight. Hudson, Hudson, Patrick Mahomes, Tyreek Hill, Justin Jefferson, Josh Allen. I don't know what he's doing there. He might be doing that celebration, that, 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 you know, that kind of rainbow celebration. And then we got Joe Burrow here, man. This is insane. This is a crazy collab. And we got some excitement here, man. Will Compton, podcaster, former NFL player. He, he's looking to play his year 10 in Retro Bowl. He played nine years in the NFL. There's a lot of excitement here. Now, it is on Apple Arcade. And maybe some people are complaining about that. Nah, y'all some hoes. Apple Arcade. That's a perfect example. What about us that bought the regular version yeah there's some outrage about the apple arcade it might be from you know android users but it also might be just people that don't want to spend more money i would just rather this implement into the main game instead of having to get a subscription just to get players from the nfl like this all makes sense but at the same time guys i don't know from new star games perspective i feel like they you know the people working behind the scenes simon bill and, and, and chris you know what i'm saying they, they do a lot to try to make the game as good as possible for you guys and they should be compensated for their work and also i think they're gonna put a bunch of that back into the game as well to make retro bowl and retro bowl college better too so i really don't think that's a big concern now so far it's only releasing to apple i don't know if it's gonna be ever released to android users or you know nintendo switch users too but let's take a look at it in the app store here retro bowl plus Woo! look at that logo right there i don't like how it's chief's colors we could have made that red and gold you feel what i'm saying but let's do some reading here we're relaunching the game on september 5th it's coming out in a month retro bowl 25 that's what it's gonna be called it's called retro bowl plus here i don't know which one's the official name but it features the teams and players nfl fans expect in glorious pixels to see you on the gridiron now the rest of this is probably just the main like description that Red Bull usually has for its app but this is crazy man that they got a licensing deal with the nfl like as a mobile game that's not ea sports that is kind of nuts and i feel like y'all have played a big part into that you feel what i'm saying so this is kind of like a celebration video you know what i'm saying wait hold on let's let's get hot I like it. Now, if I press get, okay, so, hey, if y'all haven't got another Apple Arcade, you get three months free. So, when September 5th rolls around, you redeem the three months free, you can play for three months to see if you like it or not. There you go. Now, about two years ago, I actually saw that there was a Retro Bowl Plus on Apple Arcade. I emailed Simon about it at that time, and Simon pretty much said that this game was pretty much the same thing as Retro Bowl Unlimited version. They were focused on minor tweaks at the time and, and, and very small detail changes, but he wouldn't really go into, you know, what that was for so the fact that they're releasing it now on apple arcade tells me that there's going to be some huge changes coming to this game like i think this game is going to be very very different to rush Bowl and rush Bowl college i don't think it's just going to implement nfl players and, and you know the nfl teams and stuff like i think it's just more than licensing i think they're going to introduce new game modes and and you know new features that's just my predictions but we're going to talk a bit more about the predictions for retro Bowl 25 later on in this video i want to take a look at the retro Reddit. Bill Newstar has posted the tweet in the Retro Bowl Reddit, and we did 100k members. Hold on, let's celebrate that. Let's celebrate that. That's all you guys in the Retro Bowl Reddit, man. But let's take a look at some of the reaction that's been going on for this tweet right here. This guy's not happy. He's an Android user. I do kind of feel bad for Android users. All serious note, you know what I mean? This is going to be a crazy game, and the fact that Android users can't use this, I kind of feel bad for them. I don't know what the equivalent, if there's an equivalent for Apple Arcade on Google Play. Is there like a Google Play Plus or like a Google Play Premium? I don't know, but these guys are pissed right here. I don't have iOS. So I can't play this, but if it earns the company more revenue, then they can use that to invest in Retro Bowl and Retro Bowl College, and I'm all for it. See, this guy's got a positive mindset. You can tell he's like glass half full instead of glass half empty kind of guy. Yeah, this is really good for New Star Games, man. This is huge. Like, y'all don't understand, man. To get the NFL licensing rights, only, I'm pretty sure only EA Sports has that. So, that's insane. Like, we got New Star Games creeping up on EA Sports. EA Sports, y'all gotta make Madden Mobile kind of crazy now. That's your only get back, because New Star Games is coming. They're on the 
other way. This is just the first step in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, everyone's mostly complaining about Apple Arcade here. That's that's kind of sad. I imagine it is to keep it affordable. As we've seen from Sunday ticket fiasco, the NFL probably wouldn't allow $1 officially licensed game. That's another thing to consider, guys. We're talking about the NFL here. The NFL, that, that, that stands for money. We're talking about Roger Goodell. We're pretty much working hand in hand with Roger Goodell. Matter of fact, I may or may not have met Roger Goodell over this process. Wait a minute. Nah, I'm playing. I haven't talked to Roger Goodell. But that's what I'm saying. Like, they're working with the NFL here. It, it's not all based on their decision, I'm assuming. Like, the NFL needs to make a bag off of this, too. So I can see why they put it on Apple Arcade. A lot of people are excited. A lot of people are really complaining about the Apple Arcade subscription thing, mostly. But at the same time, like, they wouldn't get this without the subscription. You know, like how Sam4365 has said in the Reddit forum. You know what I mean? They wouldn't get this. So now I want to talk about the predictions for this app. What do I think will happen with this app? game retro bowl 25 now i think a possible feature could be career mode or qb mode do i expect it to happen i'm not sure i feel like that's something maybe that they're working more towards college football or maybe the main game i don't know if i can see them you know aligning the you know nfl players with that maybe maybe that makes career mode more interesting maybe you're in be able to like interact with your teammates and stuff with like actual nfl players and throw to actual nfl players so that would be cool maybe qb mode or some sort of career mode but i honestly my biggest prediction is I think they might come up with like an owner mode where you're kind of just overseeing the general manager aspect of the game. You're not really playing any of the game, but it's probably going to be like more micromanaging in terms of running a team, running a franchise, you know, the finances and maybe expanding like the draft. This is just me guessing though. I also think maybe they'll add something like trading player for player. Now that you have licensing deals for NFL players, maybe you're able to directly trade for a player on the other team, or maybe you're able to pass package a deal include picks and stuff for the next year and stuff the trade for different players on different teams now that there's actual player names and you know which players are going to be on which team you know what i mean like you know i know justin jefferson is on the minnesota vikings on regible now instead of some random generated name you know what i mean so if i wanted to go trade for justin jefferson i feel like that they'll include that i also think they might add like statistic stats for for other players in the league because because now that you know all the player names on the different teams you should be able to see what their statistics are and the season and how they're doing i feel like that's a small feature that it can really really make the game great because that creates a lot of like storyline building for the player and i feel like each player would you know be more excited about that knowing that you know their own player is playing better than the other team's players or their player is leading the entire league in like a statistical category i feel like that would be really cool but at the same time i don't really know these are just kind of some of my predictions i want you guys to drop your predictions in the comments down below like i said i really feel bad for the android users i actually used to be an android user too you know what i'm saying I grew up with a Samsung Galaxy A7. That was my first ever phone. I was walking around with grade 7, you know what I'm saying, getting girls Facebook messengers. That was my thing, you know what I'm saying? So I understand why y'all be pissed at that. But at the same time, I don't think this licensing deal would be possible without the collab of Apple Arcade coming into play. And, you know, New Star Games, they're trying to evolve. They're trying to compete with, you know, EA Sports. They're on their way to becoming a big dog. You know what I'm saying? They're, 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 a pup. they're on their way to becoming a big dog. So any way that, you know, we can all help that grow, I feel like would be much appreciated from them. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's really my take on the game selling out thing. I, I, I don't really think it's true, especially with the way that, you know, Retro Bowl on, you know, interacts with their fans on the Reddit, on Twitter and stuff. I really genuinely do think that they really care about the fan base and they know how much it hurts to leave Android users out of this. And also for Apple users to have to purchase, you know, Apple Arcade to be able to do this. But at the same time, this is an exciting time for Retro Bowl. The game is growing. Last year around this time, Retro Bowl College came out. This year, NFL season rolls around. They're in including actual NFL players. I am excited. Don't forget to leave your predictions in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will try my best to get early access to this game to show you guys what it's like, all right? I'll see you guys in the next video.